What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. As a lot of you guys will know, I've been trying my best to get a fight on Misfits. Misfits Boxing is an influencer boxing scene and obviously with me being a YouTuber, classes as an influencer, so I want to get one of them fights, right? Well, it turns out that people don't really want to fight me in the influencer scene. Well, at least not influencers or YouTubers anyway. A lot of the things that we had in place, like a fight with Bobby Poff, that fell through. And then a fight with Big Rob Energy, who's called me out twice, that fell through. Many of the other influencers are terrified due to the fact that I knocked my last opponent out cold. He'd be better than Beeman, but see, just, just trading with him, Beeman's always going to get in the Maybe not even shots. technically, just fitter oh, than him. Oh! oh! And that's it. And that's it. But this leaves me in a very tough spot. This means I'm going to have to fight somebody who's actually got fight experience. But does that bother me? No. I have been called out by none other than a heavyweight bare knuckle boxer who is currently a bare knuckle title contender. And he's called me out. His management team actually sent this message. I see you're looking for an opponent. Eric Majda is officially game. Get in touch and let's make this happen, brother. Well, guess what? I've actually told him that I'm down to fight. I don't care who I go in the ring against. Get me on Misfits against Eric Majda. Let's take a look now at some of his bare knuckle footage. So here's the tale of the tape from one of his fights from five months ago. So we've actually got Eric Majda, who's from Poland, six foot one, age 29, and he weighs 100 kilogram. He's in decent condition. I, I mean, if you compare my body shape to his body shape, there's a clear difference, right? Let's take a look now at how he actually does in the ring. Bare knuckle fighting is not the same when it comes to boxing. Bare knuckle is more about swing as many punches as you can and try and hurt them, try and cut them. Yeah, because a big cut can stop the fight. You can't really like, you know, throw jabs and straights and stuff like that. When it comes to bare knuckle, it's more about the hooks. Was that an elbow? I'm not even sure the rules on the BKB where we're allowed to throw elbows, but if he tried that on Misfits, I mean, it's a disqualification. So if you don't know, Eric Magster is the bald guy. Hang on, wait. He's the one with a little bit more of a tan. This guy here, the Viking. It's a good nickname, yeah. I'd call him Eric Madder. Maybe it's a silent J. I do apologise. Oh, oh God. So this guy can actually fight, yeah? Like, he knows what he's doing. Obviously, bare knuckle fighters are a different mindset. I train in the gym with a couple of bare knuckle fighters and these guys are, you know, mentally sort of, like, zoned in 24-7. They're not natural. It's not a natural mindset to have. But as we can see already, Eric Madder, I'm going to call him now, is um, definitely game. It's not like some YouTuber or TikToker saying, yeah, I'll have a go of fighting. This is a guy who looks like he's been fighting for many years and he wants to fight me on Misfits. <clears throat> oh. Whoa. I want them to show a replay of that. They've got to show a replay. I don't know what because it was a live stream. I don't know whether there will be a replay. I'm gonna pull it back a little bit so we don't miss it. Has he got wobbled there as well? Oh, some nice shots there. He's leaning on him, right? Oh, that was a nasty right hook. It really was a nasty right hook. But again, one thing I will say with these bare knuckle fighters, or well, at least with Eric from what we can see from this footage is his hands are quite low, he's quite squared on, and he's throwing hooks, mainly. There are a couple of moments where he's throwing straight shots, but I do genuinely think that I could beat this guy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think that Bad Boy Beeman, a YouTuber, could beat this bare knuckle heavyweight title contender? Look at him, he's on wobbly legs. 50, 60, 70, 80, right? I wish we got that many, uh, that many seconds time, you know, if you get knocked down in boxing. Did they have a 20 count? Now he's just going in on him hard now. But again, it's mainly hooks. 
You got out there. That was the first round over. And guys, honestly, I think that straight away you can tell that Eric is definitely levels above his opponent in this ring at the moment. So let's go and see how it goes into round two now, or whether or not it even makes it to round two. This guy looks like he's going to retire on his stool. Look at him. Can't carry on. He's shaking his head. That's going to be the end of it. Let's see. Is it? Oh, I can't do it, mate. I can't do it. This guy is too good. Genuinely, like, he did take a very good shot to the chin, went down. He managed to get back up and finish the round, but he does look like he's not there. Sometimes you can be hit that hard that, you know, you can't really recover instantly from it. So let's take a look and see exactly what happens here now. This is just replays, and that, that was a shot and a half, wasn't it? Ready? Another angle. Boom. He was down. The fight's over. Showing respect to his trainers. Look at it. Hasn't, hasn't got any cuts by the looks of it. You know, didn't really take many shots. This guy is an animal. And he wants to fight me on Misfits. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think will be the outcome of Bad Boy Beeman versus Eric Majda on Misfits. Because honestly, I'm down. Mams Taylor, if you're watching. The Zone, if you're watching. Misfits Boxing, Happy Punch promo. If you guys are watching, hey, get this fight set up. I've already agreed to the fight with Majda's management. And if you guys want to see this happen as well, comment below. But also, go over to Twitter. Follow me over there, at BadBoyBeam1. And let's make some noise. Let's get this fight going. Hit the thumbs up on your way out, guys. Give the video a share. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you show a lot of support. Until next time, I'll see you later. Boosh!